Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Prize Picks video talking about the NBA for this one. As always, we got five really good core picks for you guys in this video for the Celtics at Heat. Game four, Celtics on the ropes. Finally, they have the Heat as the favorites in this game with an over under of 216. Get in the Discord for Dynamo if you haven't already. You can see a ton of big win slips here recently so a lot of people winning in the discord a lot of good talk going on also vote on jimmy butler over under in the prop voting section here we hit the tatum we could probably hit lebron here as well so let me know what you think about jimmy butler over under or you could sign up for thrive fantasy and they get a hundred percent deposit match up to 250 dollars and if you deposit at least $25 using code DYNAMO or the link in the description. You also get a free square, and that's Jimmy Butler over 0.5 points. So definitely take advantage of this offer from Thrive Fantasy. It helps support the channel as well. Now let's get into these prize picks for this game. Starting off, looking at Jimmy Butler, the prop voting of the day in the Discord. You know, let's see what he's done. This series, 16, 27, 35, obviously had one big game. Hasn't been scoring as much lately in the Knicks series, and it kind of continued in this Boston series so far besides game one. So interesting to see what you guys will vote on Jimmy Butler in the Discord. So get in there and vote. The Miami Heat players I'm going to, though, Kyle Lowry off the bench had somewhat of a bounce-back game in his last one. At least minutes-wise, looking at the fantasy score, he still barely missed it, missed the time before that. The three games before that, he's been smashing it. And honestly, looking at the box score here, what I've noticed is Duncan Robinson and Coney Martin have just been crushing it. 7 of 11, both of them in this game, 4 of 7, 5 of 7 from 3. They've just been going off and getting 23, 35 minutes. They did this in the last game too. They're extremely hot. If Robinson comes in or Martin, they're not as hot as normal. Lowry's probably going to see over 30 minutes, and Struess is probably going to see more than 25. So that's what I'm targeting. I'm car targeting uh, Lowry and Struess here because I think that they're kind of in line here for a bigger game. And, you know, Duncan Robinson and Cody Martin have been great the past two games, but it's a lot to keep up for me, in my opinion. So I'm going to go to Lowry here, you know, in a pretty average game for him he barely missed it but I think he can have a a decent to above decent game and get you that fantasy score at just 21 and a half seems pretty reasonable to me also going to Max Struess and I'm looking at his fantasy score as well the points are at 11 and a half a little iffy you know he could get 10 or 11 and still hit an 18 fantasy score 18 pretty low he got that last game didn't get it the game before that got it the game before that and the one before that Just looking at Struess his game log 34 minutes first game then they've consistently been going down because I just think it's because Robinson and Martin have been so hot off the bench it's hard to keep them off the floor but I think this is going to be a Struess game and you can see he missed the points, he got 10, but he still was able to get the fantasy score with just three rebounds, one assist, and a steal. So he doesn't have to do much, even if he doesn't get that 12 points. And then you saw, versus the Knicks, he was killing it. 14, 14, 16, 19, 17, with some good peripherals, like six rebounds, three assists in, in a few games, a couple two-stock games as well. So I like Struess. Just 18 seems really pretty low for for Struess here so I'm taking him now moving on to the Celtics and I'm looking at Derek White again we're sticking with the fantasy score I've been liking fantasy score prop bets on prize picks here just 21 assuming he gets the start keep the new the uh the watch out for that news on on that they could go back to Robert Williams but if they go to Derek White definitely like this fantasy score for him on the over you can see last game when he started, he got 24.8 and it didn't even have that good of a game. But, you know, when he doesn't start 18, 17, 6. So uh, you got to make sure he's starting before you lock this one in on this fantasy score. Looking at D. White, he got three stocks last game, nine points, four boards to assist in 26 minutes. So I think we can expect 26 or more minutes if he starts in this game again because they did bench a lot of guys at the end of the game because, you know, it was 
pretty far out of reach. So he probably would have seen more than 26 minutes if it was a closer game because he was playing fairly decently, hit three threes and, you know, was was playing some good defense and, and all that. The next Celtic I'm looking to is going to be Jason Tatum. And in my opinion, I think this is actually going to be a close game. I think the Celtics can even win this game. Game four, it's hard to sweep a team, especially a team as good as the Celtics, regardless of how bad they've been playing in the last game or I guess all series. But Tatum, the points are a little scary for me still just because the Celtics can get blown out and he could still have a big scoring game. I'd rather go to the assists. He was pretty bad on the assists in, in the last game with two, but eight before that. And looking at his game log, I mean, the the 76ers series, his assists were there. 5-6, 5-6, 5-3-5, 7-8 versus Atlanta. So he was having some big assist games when the Celtics were rolling. I think the Celtics are going to play a lot better. And Tatum can actually get in a groove here and, you know, maybe get the Celtics to win. But I think the five assists is pretty fair for Tatum on here, so I like that, but I don't like his counterpart still. I've been off Jalen Brown for quite some time now. I don't really like his points or his assist. Three and a half, you know, he needs four or he needs 24 points. Last time he had more than 24 points was in the Philadelphia series, and last time he had over three and a half assists was game one. So the combination of that, if you add those up, it's 27, but we could go here to points plus assists and take that under, and that's what I'm going to do. The combination, you get a bit of a discount here, at least in my eyes, of 0.5. You know, If he does get four assists, he would actually have to get 24 points as well, so it's a little safety net for you there on Jalen Brown, and that's going to be my fifth pick. For my betting picks, I'm actually would take the Celtics on the money line in this one. It could be a crazy call here, but I think they're going to bounce back, get at least one win in in the series, not saying they're going to win the series. And then over under, I'd take the over. I think that the Celtics are going to come out and score a good amount of points. The Heat, you know, could keep up and and make it a close game in the end. But I think Boston barely is going to win and take the over on the points. Quick recap of my picks. We got Jalen Brown under his points plus assists. Tatum over on his assists. Derek White over on the fantasy score. Same with Struess and Lowry taking them over on their fantasy score. I think it's going to be a high-scoring, closer game than what we've seen, and possibly the Celtics can pull off at least one win in this series and then go back to Boston. Just a reminder, if you guys haven't signed up for Thrive Fantasy, they have all the player props that you could want for this game, and you're going to get a free square if you deposit at least $25 and a 100% deposit match up to $250 no one else is really doing that right now. Not even Prize Picks is doing that much of a deposit bonus and the free square. So definitely get over in Thrive Fantasy and start playing there as well as Prize Picks. Also get in the Discord. A lot of good stuff going on in the Discord. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one.